Hello and welcome to the Indian Beat. Don't forget tonight is senior night. As the Indians take on Knightstown home, good luck to our Indians. The volleyball team played two games this week. They defeated Knightstown early on in the week in three sets. Cameron Fisher had 11 straight serves and the team went on a 12-1 run. The ladies played Dale at home on Wednesday night where they took a tough loss. We now go to Bree for the weather. Hello everybody. It is very um, sunny out here on this wonderful Friday. But the high today will be 83 with the low of 62. Over the weekend, it's going to be very cloudy and rainy. <laughs> Welcome to lunch. It's Friday, September 9th. We've got lunch. And speaking of it, Monday's lunch will be jumbo whole muscle chicken tenders, pizza, a classic cheeseburger, a classic chicken sandwich, an Italian chicken parm sandwich, or for an extra buck, a popcorn chicken salad. I'll take some tenders. That's all for me, and don't forget to email me to be featured in the next Indian Beat. All right, Coach Molly, what are you expecting for the game this week? Well, I'm excited. I think it's an opportunity for us to, to uh, improve, an opportunity for us to possibly get a win. So uh, it's senior night, Knightstown's come to town. I think we're pretty well evenly matched, and, and I'm excited for the opportunity. So what are some things we've improved on this week, some things we changed? Well, we changed quite a bit this week, actually. You know, we had uh, uh, Connor getting hurt last Friday night in the first quarter, breaking his collarbone. So we've had to make a switch at quarterback. And with that switch at quarterback, we've also made some changes to our offensive scheme. Alex Spence is going to be starting at quarterback, and uh, he's going to run the ball quite a bit more than than a quarterback may have in the past for me. Um, and we, we're going to throw uh, not a lot or not, a little, but just the right amount and, you know, mix in some short passes, screens, things like that. So we're very uh, confident in Alex's ability to, to play quarterback for us. Uh, we just had to change a little bit offensively for him. The other changes that we made this week is we switched back to our 4-4 defense. Um, we were in a 3-4 defense uh, for the first three games. A new scheme for us. We were trying some new things out. Um, and so the defensive coaching staff, Coach Mock and Coach Root, uh, decided that, you know, hey, it was time to go back to the 4-4 and see what that looked like against Knightstown. It's going to prevent or present better matchups for us. So a um, couple things we've changed. All right. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thank you. Hola a todos. Me presento. Soy Glenda y estoy en el grado 10. Y yo soy Flor y estoy en el grado 9. Y a partir de ahora, nosotros somos uno de los tantos alumnos que iniciarán este segmento en español para los lat alumnos latinos. En este apartado estamos hablando o comunicando diferentes temas como son los deportes, el lunch, entrevistas y más temas así. We would like to wish a happy birthday over the weekend to Mark Jennings, Jerry Rainey, and Jaden. Tickets will be on sale all next week for this year's homecoming dance. Pre-sale tickets will be $5 per person and can be purchased during first lunch or third lunch only. Remember, Monday's dress up day will be pajamas for all of RISC. This weekend in sports, the cross country team will travel to Randolph Southern for an invitational. The tennis team will travel to Winchester for the county tourney. The volleyball team will travel to Mississinawa Valley for an invitational starting at 10 a.m. Good luck to all our athletes. On Sunday, there will be a men's volleyball tournament in the high school gym starting at 6 to kick off the homecoming week. Hola a todos, ¿están preparados para lo que se viene esta semana? Para este domingo 11 de septiembre vamos a tener un partido de voleibol masculino. Tendremos las puertas abiertas a partir de las 6 de la tarde. Los esperamos. Y para el día lunes 12 de septiembre tendremos un día de pijamas para todo el colegio. Así que esperamos ver sus mejores pantuflas. Que tengan un lindo semana. What do you call a alligator detective? What? An investigator.